Hi everyone, my name is Fran and I am the product manager for Bleeding Edge, the latest 4v4 team brawler from Ninja Theory. I'd like to welcome you to our first ever developer update video. This is a new series of videos we'd like to produce where I'll be joined by various members of the Bleeding Edge dev team to answer your questions, as well as talk to you guys a bit more about the world of Bleeding Edge and what we're currently working on. To get everything started, earlier I sat down with Rani Tucker, creative director on the project, and I asked her where her idea for Bleeding Edge came from. Sure, I mean, Ninja Theory's always had a rich heritage in third-person combat action. Um, so we wanted to kind of take that forward, take it to the next level, see where we could go with it. At the same time, myself and a bunch of the team, we love to play competitive online games. So it was sort of a natural combining of this thing we love to play, this thing we love to make, into something new. And yeah, started there about three and a half years ago, and then here we are now. Our next question is about comparisons. When a new game is announced, it's pretty common for the gaming community to compare it to pre-existing titles. In the case of Bleeding Edge, the most common comparison we have is Overwatch. Sure, I mean, Overwatch is a great game, so we love playing Overwatch, but actually it's interesting because Bleeding Edge had its roots more in like a MOBA. Uh, so we started off with kind of towers and minions and lanes and, and this type of thing. But we found as we played, the game sort of told us what it wanted to be and it, it sort of led us away from that because it was hard to hold kind of that level of strategy in your head at the same time as playing in third person. But yeah, I think the thing that really sets Bleeding Edge apart from um, other games in the genre, like you mentioned, is that it's a third person action game. So it's not a shooter. It's not a top-down isometric game. It plays like third-person action. You're going to be locking on, doing combos, evading. We've just added a parry to the game. So there's like emphasis on kind of those twitch defensive mechanics. Um, there is ranged characters in the game, but you don't aim with those. You're still going to be locking on. Um, but there's a, quite a big focus on teamwork and positioning and strategy in that way. So I guess that's a kind of a, a callback to, it, to its MOBA roots. So I think if people that have played MOBAs before will see some similarities. But the thing that really sets it apart is that third person action. And we have some cool, unique features in there as well, like the mod system that allows you to kind of tweak the way that each of your, your fighters plays, um, maybe lean more into damage or more into stealth, more into healing, more into tanking to sort of create interesting team synergies and that type of thing. With regards to the hoverboards and the mods that you mentioned, when people experience these things in game, they often ask us about microtransactions in Bleeding Edge. Is that in the plan for us? There's absolutely none right now. Um, so you can obviously pre-order the game and you, you'll get the punk pack with that, which has got some cosmetics in it like skins and a hoverboard and some stickers and stuff. Um, but everything else is earnable in the game, including all the cosmetics, and we would absolutely never sell anything that would affect the game, because um, it's really important that it's a competitive game, right? It, we don't want to affect the competitive nature of the game by selling things. That was Rani Tucker, our creative director. And if you guys have got something you want to ask us, just head on over to our forums, the Discord, or chat with us on social media. Now, we'd like to invite all of you to team up and cause chaos in our first ever closed beta weekend. If you'd like to get involved, just head on over to bleedingedge.com to pre-order the game. Otherwise, if you've got an active Xbox Game Pass membership, you'll automatically be granted access. That's all we've got time for today, but thanks very much for watching, and we hope to see you on February 14th in the beta. I'm Fran, and that was your Bleeding Edge developer update.